So at the moment I'm sailing down the Hobbit Bay. There's not a whole lot for shops in the way for getting food and extra supplies in Brennett Heads. Really there's nothing there. So I'm looking at probably another, another day's sail down to Harvey Bay. Get some more food. I need some camping gas as well. Getting low. So this is what we call sailing, wing on wing. We're going straight down wind. And as you can see, I've got the whisker pole on the jib. That's on one side. And the mainsail is right out on the other side. It allows us to go straight with the wind at reasonable speed. So I'm sitting on five knots at the moment. And we've probably only got about five to ten knots wind anyway. So this is what I call the Sea Monster Harvey Bay. Every night the waves pick right up and the seas get really and This is where I got stuck on the sandbar. Basically pulled the anchor up and then the motor died shortly after the current pushed me into the sandbar and I was proper stuck real quick. Just couldn't get out, ended up having to get towed out. Turns out the problem was the fuel system on the boat. Basically all the diesel lines need to be replaced so I went through put brand new fuel filters and all brand new fuel lines, new fittings. After that, motor run pretty good. Sure, it feels good to be off the sandbar. Sailing free, motors is all good, everything's sorted out and fixed. So now it's off to just enjoy the day and go explore around the islands. There's a lot of islands around here, so it's good to go out and see what's out there.
So I got to Big Woody Island, decided to go for a little hike along the island. There's an old lighthouse up the top of the hill, as well as an old shack, which I was told was the supply hut to bring supplies to the lighthouse. Hiking's over, now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go out, see if I can get some fresh fish for lunch. Fresh fish, 10 minutes from ocean, to frying pan, to mouth. Mm. So my spear gun's starting to get pretty rusty, especially on my shaft, and the trigger is a bit sticky. So I'm just gonna pull it all apart, try to clean off some of this rust. Just set that down there for a minute. I think a proper workbench would make this really, really bad. much easier here. Little pin. There it is. dropped on the floor. That's not good. Okay, that's out. Oh yeah, there's a spring in there. That's pretty simple. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Trigger mechanism.
Here's the lizard. Next one. Let's see the actual Hey, here. That would do a lot of damage. Another. Yeah, that holds. Sailing to another section of the same island as on yesterday, where we got that fish. We do a little bit more spear fishing this morning before heading back into town. I just like go try to follow spotters, something like dead and rock or something like that. But it's just near a uh, nature reserve, so there should be a few more bigger fish there. Obviously, I'm not going into the nature reserve. Just going to be fishing just on the rock side. If we go pretty close to this side, right on the point of the island, it's well outside of the nature reserve. And I reckon there'll be a lot of fish there. So just behind me is a uh, big woody island. I'm just anchored probably about, I'd say maybe 500 meters off the northern point of it. There's a rock shelf that goes from the point of the island right up to this boy over that way. That marks where the nature reserve is. So obviously I'm not going near that nature reserve. I'm going to stay more near the point here. Um, and just, I'll probably try fishing sort of along that shelf. So I'll go in the dinghy, I'll go in a little bit. Probably about halfway between here and the beach, roughly. There's, I can see there's a line where the water gets a bit shallower. So that's where I'm kind of aiming to go, just where you get that drop off. Hopefully there's going to be some big fish there. And today I'm looking for lunch as well as dinner, I think. Normally I only take what I'm going to have for that next meal. So if I'm going out in the morning, I only take enough for lunch. But, because after this I'm going back into town, 
I might actually take enough for dinner tonight as well. Lots of interesting reef around here, but the fish seem pretty hard to find. They're kind of not really too existent or too small, but we'll keep searching. Finally, good sized fish. Pink snapper. This one's big enough for at least two meals. In Australia, everyone has to apply for permission from the government to leave the country. So my first application didn't quite go through. Apparently it wasn't good enough. So I've redone a lot of my paperwork, done all that bureaucratic stuff. I've applied again to get my permission to leave. So hopefully soon I'll have an answer and be allowed to leave.